Hi, this is Jeff. Today we're going to take a look at pre-populating an InfoPath form with the user details and the person's manager's details. As you can see, I have uh, two MySite profiles, actually uh, Peter Gibbons and Bill Lumberg from Office Space. Fantastic. And as you can guess, Bill is Peter's manager. Now we're going to be using the user profile service ASMX, which I just want to show here. And we'll do a little connectivity test. We're going to run get user profile by name. You leave the input parameter empty and it returns the detail for who you're logged in as. So here we can see we have Peter Gibbons and phone number, location, job title, manager, all these details coming back. So now that we know that that's working, let's head over to InfoPath. We're going to design a blank form template, get this URL on the clipboard, and go to Tools Data Connections. We actually want to receive the data from a web service, and we're going to be doing two of these, one for the user detail and one for the manager. We leave the input parameter empty, call this one user profile, and we're going to add the same thing one more time. and we'll call this manager profile. Okay, easy enough. If we go to the design task controls and look for data source, you can go and take a look at these and actually see the, the schema of what will be returned. We're going to go ahead and drop the user profile tree onto the form. And there's the uh, kind of the, the schema for uh, the property data as a repeating table and this is a little bit noisy for what we're doing so we're going to take out a couple of the columns and widen this value area and that will be user profile go ahead and make that nice and visible and we'll do the same thing down here for manager uh, profile Okay, and so we'll switch our data connection to the manager profile, go walk down the schema, pick out this uh, profile data tree, put it down as a repeating table, and again go ahead and delete the column for privacy and value change. You know, those are some Boolean attributes we really don't care about for what we're doing today. We just want to get the, um, the real neat actual profile values from Active Directory. Um, all right. So now we have something reasonably close. Let's go ahead and save this. AD Manager Details is what we'll call it. And one last thing before we go preview. We're going to go to Tools and look at the Form Options and do the Opening Form Rules. Now we don't have a condition for it. But what we want to do is refilter the Manager connection by giving it the name of the manager from the User connection. So. In the manager profile, we have a query section where we can set the account name. We're going to set that value equal to the manager from the first connection, the user profile. So we'll come down here to data, and we want to get the value, but not just any value. We need to filter it, where the name, going up the tree here a little bit, where the name is equal to manager. And that will return the current person's manager and then apply it to that second connection as a filter. Right after that we need to go and query that second connection so that it you know updates and comes back with the appropriate detail. So we'll put those two things as a rule in the form opening. One more thing we want to do to the form is go to tools, form options under security and set it to full trust. This may only be needed for my development machine, but it's worth checking out in your production environment to make sure it can retrieve the web service. And when I hit preview, try to connect. Okay, so here's the user profile, Peter Gibbons, phone number, SID number, a URL, all of that. Come on down, manager profile, Bill Lumberg, 
username, phone number, bad manager for a title, um, URL, we even have the picture address in here, inatech.com for website, bill at inatech for his email. So you can get the current person's details, you can get their manager's details. Uh, from here, you could pre-populate you know, text boxes, maybe you want for an email address to later use in a workflow to route an approval message and you know, get that person's approval and take the workflow through to the next stage. So that's it. I'll you know, post through a blog post with the steps and this video recording as well as the InfoPath sample file. It won't work directly on your environment because your environment's going to have a different URL for the data connection here. Um, no big deal. Just open it in design mode, go to tools, data connections, modify, and simply you know, update the URL address. Thank you for watching and please leave a comment.